Hey, this is Greg the Carpenter. We're going to talk about the steel frame and square a little bit. I love these things. See how thick that thing is on this end? And how thin it is up here, paper thin almost. But I love these scales. But what we're going to talk about is the 12 scales on here. And what we're going to use this for is to figure up the rise and the diagonal of a rafter just by this little framing square. This mean, lean calculating machine. Let's dive into the video. First thing you want to do, find the scale on here that have the 12th scale on it. This is the side that you want. The one inch would represent one foot, two foot, three foot, four foot. On the 12th scale here, all these right here would represent one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, and so forth. Same thing at the bottom. Okay, so we've been working with an eight and 12 pitch a lot. So let's keep going with the eight and 12. Put on eight inches right here on the edge of your board. On your other one, put it on 12 inches on this side of the board. You're gonna mark the bottom and you're gonna mark the side. Now that you've marked the bottom or the, the blade side and the tongue side, you just gotta figure up your span. Just say you have uh, 20 foot eight inches, okay? Half of that right there would be 10 foot four inches, okay? So from your blade side right here, all you're gonna do is move your entire square out until you get to this mark right here. That would be 10 foot, 10 foot one, 10 foot two, 10 foot three, 10 foot four. You're gonna move it out all the way to here and then you're gonna mark the tongue side straight up. Now that you have moved your square out to where you have your span here, 10 foot, 10 foot one, two, three, four, 10 foot four on the edge of your board. You marked it, you marked it right here with a pencil right here. All you're gonna do is count straight up. Remember all these numbers right here represent feet. So now you're just gonna measure up. I have six foot and all these represent inches right here. So we are looking at I've got a glare here, so I'm looking like maybe six foot 10 and maybe a half, maybe five eighths. So I would say six foot 10 and five eighths on the, the rise. Now on the diagonal part, what you wanna do is make sure that you have a really good mark here and that you have a really good mark right here as well so now that you got those numbers all you're going to do is just take your square and you're going to put it on this mark right here and your original mark so you're going to make sure that you go from right here put it right on time here and on time here and you're going to count these numbers out so once you have your square ready to rock and roll and on time all you're going to do is count your numbers up so i've got 11 foot 12 foot 12 foot 1 12 foot 2 12 foot 3 12 foot 4 12 foot 5. so i'm going to say the diagonal is 12 foot 5 inches 
So that is how you use the frame and square as a calculator. And like I say, somebody once told me a long time ago, if you don't give this information away, you're going to forget it. So that's why I am giving this information away. If I don't give it away, I'm going to forget it. And I just remembered this today, you know, of how these old framers and old school carpenters taught me. I was sitting here looking at the frame and square. And it took a while to figure this back out again. But I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. And I hope this video helps you out there. Especially if you lose your calculator or something. So hopefully these numbers are close. I don't know. But catch you next trip.